I spent 30 years plus uh, working at the laboratory. Uh, I was a plutonium machinist. I machined uh, plutonium for many years. Uh, I uh, machined uh, americium. I had to machine components uh, to uh, very stringent uh, specifications and tolerances. Uh, which required me to spend a lot of time because of the quality of the, of the product. Uh, quality is uh, something that takes a lot of time and uh, time is exposure. Well, I felt like if there was a problem, I would have been notified and uh, I went on to do my job without spending a lot of time wondering whether I was getting abnormal exposure or not because my job was pretty intricate and I had to concentrate on doing my work and that's what I did. I, I didn't really know exactly everything that I feel I needed to know because I don't think anybody else did. I, I, don't, uh, I don't undermine the laboratory or supervisors or anyone. I think that we were all uh, lacking a lot of knowledge of uh, what the exposures were, the materials that we were working with. Uh, I think we knew what they were, but we didn't really know what the uh, consequences were from spending all the time with them. Um, there was times when flow systems would fail, uh, contamination would go airborne into our work area, we would get contaminated, and. Uh, not speaking about only me but everyone in the area and uh, we would end up in a special shower nearby uh, scrubbing down and removing contamination with a uh, health physicist monitor uh, standing outside and checking you and, and uh, until you got a clean reading and, and then you went back to work or you went home and hopefully you were clean. I think about at least 90% of the people that I worked with at uh, the plutonium plant uh, have, have died of cancer. Not all of them were machinists, but uh, they worked in my immediate area. I wasn't really concerned about exposure that I might have had until I was, and that's because I didn't give it any thought, um, until I was diagnosed with cancer around April of 97. Um, I had been feeling run down and tired and my bones were very painful and uh, I went for a physical at my doctor's and um, they diagnosed me with cancer of the cecum and uh, after all the uh, diagnosis was done through the specialists and all they determined that I had had it for approximately two years. I had a grapefruit-sized tumor in my gut, the area of the cecum. The system, uh, I don't feel, is there to help us. Uh, they seem to just uh, put us off and, uh, and not really be willing to help us. And we get nowhere, and I'm talking about a lot of people. I know that intentionally, they have created obstructions and uh, and they uh, hope that you get discouraged um, by not responding and uh, by giving you negative responses in hopes that you'll just go away or die and that's what's happening. I was diagnosed with cancer and I came home on disability and uh, that's what my retirement is, uh, being disabled. And uh, after a long career, which I felt was a good career, uh, I have to live from uh, check to check and, and I have a lot of difficulty just being able to afford my medications. Um, there's times when I skip them because I don't have enough money to pay for them. I don't think that having to deal with bureaucracy uh, to be able to afford your survival 
in your life after getting through something like what we've been through should have to be something that you have to fight for.